Hello, welcome to the tournament for Computer Science 3200, Fall 22, Connect 4. How's everyone doing? Uh, so, just to get this, uh, to explain what's going on here, we are teaching Computer Science 3200, which is an intro to AI class. And as part of the third assignment, we had to write a Connect 4 AI, as you can see here by this screen. And what I've done is I have modified the assignment so all the players are here inside the assignment so I can play them against each other. And I have done up a bracket here. And what I did was I put in all the team names into a challenge, which is this uh, bracket generating website. And these are the, uh, the, the randomized pairings that came up. So uh, if you're out there in the chat and you're participating, let me know. It'd be fun if, if people are actually watching their games. And so this is, uh, there's 29 entrants in total, I think. Yeah, you can see here 29. This is the, uh, the 29th team here. And so these are completely randomized pairings. Uh, the website did it for me. And so, uh, yeah, so the, the computer just randomly generated these things and, or did they? Yes, they did. Okay, so it's not in alphabetical order. It's completely randomized. So here we have all the 29 teams and it is going to be a single elimination format. So I don't have time to run a double elimination format because it'll just uh, take way too long. Every match, as you can see here, is going to be best of three. So the top player will start as yellow and then um, the bottom player will start as yellow. And if there's a, ne uh, a need for a third game, then we will randomly select who gets to uh, start as a yellow player. Uh, once you win, so for example, if this uh, team up here wins, I will just copy and paste them and they will move on to the next round and they will play against the person who's here. And uh, as we get down to the semifinals, maybe best of five or something like that, and then maybe we'll do something special with the finals depending on how many people are remaining. So that being said, let's just hop into it and we'll fill out this as we go and we'll just have a chill time. I've got some kittens. Um playing with each other in the background, they may make an appearance at some point. So normally I do uh, advocate using Firefox, but uh, unfortunately Chrome is just faster at JavaScript, uh, a lot faster. So it's so much faster that I'm going to be using Chrome for the competition just to give everyone as much computation as possible. So let's get the first match underway. So the first match is going to be Vader's Punjabi versus Thorn. So here we go. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And uh, the audio and everything is fine. Let me know. I think it is, but uh, we'll see um, what people say. All right, so we've got Vader's Punjabi and Thorn. So here you can see that I've got the um, settings to play at 1000 milliseconds, so one second each with a max depth of zero, meaning that there is no max. Um, what's going to happen is, uh, so if your team name is not here, um, I apologize, but what I told the TAs to do is test with these settings and all of the teams who passed those tests um, are in the competition. If for any reason you throw an error or an illegal move, you get one false start throughout the competition. And then if you throw a second one, your team is just, it just loses and it's eliminated. Um, I don't have time to debug everyone's solutions and it should just be working. So we're gonna go with that. So over here, I've got the terminal open for any red text. So if you're throwing any red text, be careful because that's not gonna be good for your team. All right, so we've got um, the first game here set up. Let's see how it goes. So we've got one second per move. And if it seems like at some point um, teams aren't taking the full second, that's probably because that team is at that point searching to the end of the game. So if you can search to the end of the game, then you don't need to wait the full second. So toward the end of the game, you'll probably see moves be like boop, 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 like really fast. So, um, so that's why that will happen toward the end of the game. All right, so our first result of the tournament was a win for Thorn. So we have one for Thorn, and now what we're gonna do is I'm going to flip the players. So Thorn is on top, and then here we go. So because of the best of three, if Thorn wins this one, then that's it, it's over, and Thorn wins the match. 
Uh, otherwise, if Vader's uh, wins, then we will random who gets yellow for the second match. So here we go. So how's everyone doing out there? Hope your uh, Remembrance Day lectures... I guess it's not a holiday today, but tomorrow is the holiday. But today we didn't have a lecture because it's actually um, Friday's schedule. So that's why we're not having our normal lecture for 3200 today. So these two teams seem to be pretty well matched. Here we've got a lot of placement on the left. Maybe the heuristic isn't fully fleshed out. Okay, so we had not necessarily an error there, but we have player one, one wins, so Thorn wins. But you did see, if we back up two moves, we did see that um, player two did not stop right here. So maybe that was a little bit of a mistake. I'm not sure. But we've got Thorn moving on to the second round. So let's copy and paste that over. There we go. Um, the weather is trash. Yeah, it's like, it's dark out. It's 3.30 in the afternoon and it's dark out. What the hell is that? Okay, so we've got Brown and Pratham. So here we'll go with Brown on top and, oops, I'm gonna restart this. Brown on top and Pratham on the bottom. Now, I'm going to be doing a bunch of uh, games today, so if you see any mistakes in the pairings or the results or anything like that, just tell me, and I will fix those as soon as possible. So, I want to record, so this was two, oops, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Daylight losing time, yeah, daylight saving time is stupid. Um, Alright, so here we go. Uh, turn on autoplay. So we have our second match of the game. No red text yet. That's really good. Um, so as you can see here, uh, teams are placing more toward the middle, which is good if you have like heuristics that aren't working properly. Typically you'll see teams like placing uh, way down the left side or way down the right hand side. So these teams seem to be, wow, really avoiding the left or the right hand side. Doing pretty well so far. Okay, so we have one win for Pratham. So I'm going to swap the teams now. And all of this is for fun. This does not um, this does not judge the marks in the, in the assignment or anything. Maybe I'll have a little trophy on D2L or something like that after we're done. So if your team doesn't win, it's okay. If your team gets knocked out in the first round, that's all you can do. Uh, this is all for good fun. So uh, I believe I have these... Um, we had Pratham with the win last time. Now they're playing yellow, so we will start it there. Yellow going with the stack in the middle. Red is just playing, playing pretty chill right now. Yellow was the winner of the last round. Oh, red's got a nice double set up here. That's looking good for red. Oh no, player one wins. Okay, so that is two wins for Pratham, I believe. So Pratham 2-0, and then I'm going to take them and copy them. Now, I wish I had time to sit here for hours and like discuss all the results and what may have been a good move and what may have been a bad move. But unfortunately, that's, uh, that's not how she goes sometimes. Um, I just don't have enough time to do that. This is probably going to take like one or two hours, even though it seems to be moving quickly so far. So we've got Silva versus Jafar in the next one. So let's reload. Silva. Oops, that's not Silva. Silva versus Jafar. That's it, right? Yep. Okay, let's do it. Oh, we've got a, we've got a left-hand sider. Left, <laughs> vertical versus horizontal. Who's going to win this one? Oh, red tried a sneaky move there. Yellow saw that one. This is always really fun. I like watching them. Some We've got some Pratham fans here already. If you have any favorites for who's going to take it, just let me know. Look at this. All the blocks going up the middle. That was hilarious. Um, we can have draws as well, remember. It looks like... Oh, red forced their way into the win for that one. So we've got... Um, Jafari, or sorry, Jafar Rafi taking the first one, and now we'll swap them. So Silva and Jafar. So we've got Jafar and Silva. Jafar took the first one, and so now we're playing the opposite. So, so far we haven't had a game three, which is kind of interesting. We haven't seen any huge blunders either. 
Jafar took the first game. They are yellow. Let's see if they take the second game as well. Yellow is setting up this stack here in the middle. It's got... Oh, there's a double win right here for yellow. Oh, they just they just blew their win in the middle. Uh-oh. This one's looking really close. I don't know if anyone can win it. Okay, so someone could still win at this point. Player two. Okay. So, um, this is one to one. And now what we have to do is we go to random.org and we go max. Oh my, what is this? Okay, let's allow the cookies. Now what we're going to do, um, random between one and two, and it's either player one or player two for, let's say, Jafar Rafi. So if it's one, Jafar Rafi is on top. If not, they're on bottom. Generate. All right, so Jafar Rafi is on top. And what we are going to do, so it's one-to-one -one for this one right now. Um, Silva, we are going to, just so it isn't the exact same results, we are going to give 1,500 milliseconds just to shake it up a little bit. So this is game three for um, who wins this one. So we've got a second and a half per move this time. Just, uh, just so that it's not the exact same result, maybe, as last time. Just, just keep stacking. Yep. You gotta stack in order to win. Maybe that's not the optimal strategy, but it is a strategy. Looking like it might be quite the same match. That extra half a second not doing a lot. Sometimes that's all you can do. So this match seems to be playing out quite similarly to the first one. Maybe not getting that extra depth. So Silva. Congratulations to Silva. Close fought battle. And I know that that kind of came down to randomness, but sometimes that's all you can do. Um, hard fought battle by both people. Don't feel too bad either way. All right, so Silva moves on to the next round. Next, we have Yin and UVW. So let's go here. We have Yin on top and UVW. Okay, let me just make sure that that is correct. Yep, it is correct, so we can start this one. All right, here we go with the next match. Someone called a red win, they were correct. This one looks interesting. They're stacking in the middle first, getting those, um, getting those important pieces, those important blockers. Red is looking really strong this game. Oh, Red just didn't take the win there for some reason and then went on to the next one. So probably did not implement that tiebreaker of taking the closest wins first. So we have Red, so we have UVW taking the first one. So UV, uh, UV, I guess, versus Yin. And now we have the opposite game. And UVW took the first one, so Yellow had the win in the first round. Oh, really interesting. Try for the quick win from red, but yellow saw that one coming a mile away. Stopped it. Another one trying to stack up. Yin loves the stack. We've got a block there. Oh, and player one. So we've got UVW with 2-0 on that one. Well done. Okay, so I'm going to go back in here. Take... This player, 2-0, they get this spot. And this one here, that was 2-0. Um, and this one here, we had Silva with a 2-1. to one. All right, so Nair versus Sied. So we have Nair versus Sied. Here we go. After the first round, we'll take a little poll to see who people think is going to take it all after the first round performance. We've got some buys. 
Um, so this is like technically the round of 32, but there were only 29 entrants. And so because of that, there were three buys into the second round, um, into the round of 16. So who's winning this one? I have no idea. They're pretty even at this point. Oh, look at that. Out of nowhere, uh, Nair with the first win. So now we swapped them around. So Sied versus Nair. And Nair took the first one. So if Red wins this one, that's the end of this match. Uh, so someone's asking, how did I decide the buys? Um, so it's it was the bracket was completely randomly generated by a website. So if you go to challenge.com, um, I'll type it. There's a bracket generator, and I just put in all the names, and it generated a bracket for me. And I posted it on D2L a couple of hours ago. All right, so we have Sied versus Nair, and it is one to one now because I believe Nair won the first one. So what we're going to do for this one, we'll change it up. Let's um, increase the board size. Let's make it a little bit fun. All right, so I hope you tested for this. So we're going to generate, so um, Syed, where does Syed go? One is top, two is bottom, two. So Syed goes on bottom and Nair goes on top. So we're going to do different things for the tiebreakers, kind of change it up. Um, so here we're going to have um, Syed versus Nair on this larger board. So let's see. Okay, no one's crashing. That's good. Here we go. So the gameplay changes dramatically when you have a, uh, a larger board. The game can take a lot longer because there's a lot more pieces to fill out. Looks like both players are doing well so far. Yellow's got a nice structure here. So Nair, I, I think Nair, oh no, Red's got some nice structure too. I don't know anything about Connect Four. Okay, so player one wins with this structure right here, and that is Nair. So Nair takes it two to one. Congratulations. Hard fought battle. Sometimes comes down to a little bit of uh, luck of the draw with who gets yellow and who doesn't. But congratulations for moving on to the next round. Here we go. Boom. The next one is Whitehorn and George. All right. So... Wait, let me set this match up first. Whitehorn and George. All right. So someone said there's some missed wins. Uh, as I said on D2L with that post, sometimes your bot can see so far into the future that it can see that I'm definitely going to win no matter what, like five turns from now, or I'm definitely going to lose no matter what, like five turns from now. And when that happens, you have to have some sort of tiebreaker to be able to say, I actually want to, to win right now, right? Because a win right now isn't any better than a win a few turns from now. And so that's what some bots are maybe doing. They don't have that tiebreaker in there. Um, so they pass up wins right now for wins later. So congratulations to George for the first win here. I have a ferret named George. Um, George versus Whitehorn. And George won the first one, so if yellow wins this one, that's a 2-0 for George. All right, let's see who, who takes it this time. George going for the quick win down the middle. Seems to be a popular strategy. We've got Whitehorn's heuristic uh, placing down the left-hand side. Maybe not the best idea. And player one. So we have George taking it 2-0 over Whitehorn. So here we go. Congratulations to George with the 2-0 uh, over Whitehorn. So we'll take George and move them on to the next round. Oh, someone says their game is next. So we've got um, Rich Ahmed versus Kazmali. So Rich versus Cows. Rich... Sorry if I'm pronouncing your names wrong. I um, am not very good with name pronunciation sometimes. Here we go. So Rich is in the yellow and Cows, uh, Cosmali in the red. So let's see here. We've got someone in the in the chat is uh, is playing right now. We'll see if they win or not. Looks like a really interesting game. The heuristics are working, placing things near the middle. I don't see any diagonal setups yet. Looks pretty even. 
both teams are are blocking each other but yellow has this nice structure and that looks like a win for yellow so rich takes the first one now we'll reset it we'll go cos versus rich and flip it and see who wins this one all right so we've got a happy chatter out there i assume that's team rich see if they can take this game with the red colors going for a couple of quick wins but being blocked they've got a nice diagonal set up here let's see if that ends up paying off Ooh, player one wins all right so we've got player one winning both games here so what do we do now we are going to see where rich goes so one for top two for bottom one so we've got rich and cos here and we are going to increase the board size let's go with uh eight now let's go nine by seven i like nine by seven you got to keep it e you got to keep it odd because then the middle ones mean a lot more all right, here we go. This is for the match. Wait, I wasn't yellow this time. Yeah, you got to make sure that you're the right you're the right color when you're cheering. We got that premature celebration out there. Here we go. Rich versus Cause on the bigger board. Player 1. Okay, so we've got Rich taking the game. Um, after the premature celebration ends up pulling it out in the end. So congratulations. We will mark that down. So we had rich um, two to one and Here we go. So they move on into the round of 16 to play against George All right next we have uh, Sullivan hum Sullivan hum player one definitely does not always win um, player one is a little bit favorite to win in Connect Four, but um, we've seen many red wins already, so that's not the case. Um, Sullivan Hum. So Sullivan on top. And Hum on bottom. Here we go. I have a class at four, so I, I can't stay longer, but I'll watch the rest later. I have a lot of faith in my AI. Well, good luck. Um, hope you do well, and uh, see you in the VOD later. Oh, yellow is off to a good start. Yellow and red both have a triple set up. People are going to have to stop placing in that second column now in order to avoid that loss. Oh, this might be a board fill. Might be a board fill. Oh, we've got... I didn't even see this one. So congratulations to red. So hum takes the first match. Um... Hum. Uh, who was playing against Hum? I already forgot. Sullivan. So here we go. Auto play on. Yellow won the last one. I'm going to take this <laughs> course next semester just so I can win this tournament. Well, that's a good motivation to take the course is to win the tournament. Oh, what happened? All right. Well, sorry, Sullivan. We had the quickest. Um, that may not have been the best strategy. But uh, that's all you can do. So Hum takes that one pretty handily. Maybe a little error in the algorithm somewhere. So Hum moves on um, to play in the next round. Stakers versus Stakers. Um, all right. So let's see here. We have um, Vig versus Bill. Vig versus Bill. Perfect. And shout outs to the TAs for preparing all of these files for me and renaming all the classes so that we could have this tournament. That's really awesome. All right. Someone calling it for Prathom for the clean sweep. We've got uh, two kittens have fallen asleep behind me. So they, uh, they're not uh, impressed by the, by the action that's going on here. Wow, this is a good game. This is getting filled up. Any game where the board fills up means that both teams are doing something right. But yellow, yellow, red, yellow. Oh, no. They blocked it. Oh, wow. Okay, so that was pretty close. So Vidge just, just pulled that one out before the uh, draw. 
So we've got Vidge and Bill. So now we're going to have Bill and Vidge. Vidge took the first round. Let's see if they can do as well in the second round. So remember, it doesn't matter when you win, just that you win. So a late win like that is just as good as an early win. Oh, no. Oh, I thought there was going to be a win already. Whew. So we've got uh, a line set up here for yellow, a line set up here for red. So yellow cannot place here. Yellow cannot place here anymore, or red will win here. So I, I think red is actually looking really good here. Got the long game set up going. They can't place in either of these. Oh, red didn't take the early win. But they had so many wins set up. Look at this. There was a win here, a win here. A win. Wow, okay. So Vidge is, is looking pretty strong. Congratulations to Vidge on taking that one with the multiple wins set up going into the round of 16. So that was a pretty, pretty solid 2-0 um, right here. Uh, we just saw in the last one, Hum took it 2-0. Now we have Maloney versus Goodjar. Mahoney. Maloney or Mahoney? Um, Maloney versus Gudge. Okay. So Maloney versus Gudge. And keep in mind, like I said before, this is all for fun, right? You have um, all these brackets could have been randomly generated in a different way. Maybe you play against someone else. Maybe, um, you know, one of the stronger people you end up playing against first and you get knocked out earlier. So don't worry if you didn't make it too far. Um, it's it's just for fun. Um, none of the marks in the class are for this. This is all just for, for 3,200 street cred. Okay, we've got yellow pretty much dominating the, the second row here, but red in the third row. Let's see how that works out. Oh, yellow, why did you do that? Is anyone going to win this one? We've got a draw, our first draw. So, um, Maloney versus Gudge, now we flip it. Gudge versus Maloney. Our first draw, that's really interesting. So that means that both players are, are playing very well if there's a draw. Or both players, I guess, are playing very poorly, but I, I think it was very well in that one. Seemed like they were making all the right moves. If there are two draws, then the third game will be the deciding game. We'll move to a bigger... Oh, we've got red blocked off. Oh, wow. Okay, so Maloney takes the first one. So it is um, still possible that there is a draw in this match. So Maloney is up one game and one draw. So now what I'll do is I'll random where Maloney goes. One is top, two is bottom. So Maloney is on bottom. Gudge is on top. I think that's the matchup. Yes. And we are going to make the board bigger for the possibly deciding game. So Maloney has one win and there is one draw. So if Maloney wins this or there is a draw, then Maloney moves on. If there is a win by Gudge, then it'll be one game each and we keep going. Someone said, why not count three wins instead of three games? So a draw won't be considered at all. I don't, I'm not sure what that means. Um, I just want three games because um, it's three wins is way longer. Um, and this will take a lot of time. So we're just going to go with best of three. Draws are also make for exciting um, gameplay. Player two. Okay, so we have Maloney with two wins versus a draw. So we have 2-0-1. Oh, um, so here Maloney, 2 oh, one um, meaning that there was a draw. So we have Maloney. Because three wins is essentially a best of five. So um, there we go. Player Maloney. Down to the bottom brackets now. We have uh, Stanley versus Eunice. So let's set that one up. Stanley versus Eunice. Turn on autoplay. Here we go. Uh-oh. Which bot? What is happening? I think red is not functioning properly. It's not taking the whole second. Where's the TAs? Player one wins. Okay, I thought that was going to happen because it looks like player two was not taking the full second. So Stanley versus Eunice. Now it's Eunice versus Stanley. 
And I don't think that Stanley, or I don't think that Eunice. Okay, now they're, no. I don't know what's happening here. One of the bots isn't functioning properly, but we'll get a winner. Player two wins. So that was a pretty handy win by Stanley Parmer to make it to the next round. Um, let me just make sure. So I want to see Stanley versus Eunice. And I'm going to do a single AI turn. Okay, Stanley took the full second. Eunice did not take the full second. Okay, so that's fine. Eunice probably wasn't working correctly. But we have Stanley moving on to the next round. Um, someone had a question about uh, timing. Let me get the next match set up first. So we have Gathita versus Kerala. So here is Gathita versus Kerala. So if... Would it, would it be good if it doesn't take the full time? No, because there is no way possible for you to search the entire game tree of Connect 4 in the amount of time that one second gives you. And so if you're not searching um, for that full one second at the beginning of the game, it means your algorithm is not working properly um, and you're not working uh, and you're not searching as much. So here we had a game where it didn't look like the heuristics were really doing anything. Both players were just placing down the side. Um, so we have Corala taking that one. So Corala Gathita. So now we'll have um, Corala Gathita. Let me see if that was it. Yeah, so Gathita is on bottom. Now I'll turn it on again. So it looks like both bots here maybe didn't have a, a, a crazy good evaluation function because they're just placing down the left. If that's the case, maybe the same player will win. Maybe they won't. Um, but we have basically the exact same game happening in reverse now. Let's see who's going to win. Okay, not the exact same game. Corala may take this one. No, okay, we're going down the side. Well, that was a very exciting game. <laughs> We've got a draw. So, okay, now we've got Kerala, Gathita. Okay, where does Gathita go? One for top, two for bottom. They go on top. Gathita. Versus Kerala. And we're going to make the board bigger. And so Kerala has one win and there is a draw. So let's turn it on and see what happens. Someone confirm out there, Kerala is the one who won the game, I believe. So when there's an odd number in the height, that makes the game very different. Okay, we skipped a row. I have no idea what's happening, who is winning. Um, this might be another draw. If it is another draw, then Kerala will win because they won one game already. Player two. So Kerala takes it two wins and one draw. So congratulations to Kerala. Um, Stanley, this one was 2 0. Oh, oops. And Kerala is 2 0, oh, and they move on to the next one. So let's copy and paste that one. Next, we have Griffiths versus Nelson. So let's. Take that one up, Griffiths versus Nelson. Here we go. We got Griffiths placing in the middle, Nelson placing over on the left. That may be a sign of uh, possible heuristic function differences. We'll see how that goes. interesting game so far. It looks like yellow has a bit of an advantage. Yellow, red, yellow, red. Re Yellow's going to win this one, I think. Yeah, there we go. They had that set up from the start, so congratulations to Griffiths. Now we will flip Nelson Griffiths. 
turn it on. Here we go with one second. Kind of the opposite of the last game, where now Griffith is on the bottom, but taking that midsection first, trying to fill out that middle, which we've found to be a good strategy so far. And player two. So Griffith takes both games pretty handily in that one. So that was a 2-0 for Griffiths. Congratulations. Looking pretty strong. And we will take them and place them right down here. All right. So now we have the round of 16. So we're going single elimination still. And we're going to start up here at the top with Fitzgerald versus Thorn. So Fitzgerald was lucky enough to have that buy into the second round. But buys don't matter if you can't win. So here we go. Now we get into the... The bots that definitely know what they're doing. Um, these should be really interesting matches. If you have any particular favorites, type them out there in the chat. I want to see if these predictions come true. Ooh, this is an interesting game. We're leaving open a couple of, uh, a couple of these interior... Oh, wow. Okay. So Thorn beats Fitzgerald on that one. Now we're going to flip it to Thorn on top, Fitzgerald on bottom. So Thorn won the first round, taking the, uh, taking the second one as well. Oh, got some trolls out in the chat. Thanks for identifying yourself. You are banned. Here we go. Thorn and Fitzgerald. Thorn won the first game, trying to see if it can take this one 2-0 to move on. Player one. So Thorn goes 2-0 in the second round as well. So Thorn looking pretty strong. 2-0. Copy and paste. Thorn. Now we've got Pratham versus Silva. So Pratham is a bit of a crowd favorite out there for some reason. So we've got, uh, let's see how that goes. Pratham versus Silva. Let's go. Ooh, by, by this, I'm thinking Pratham might have the advantage. Looks like they're taking all the center pieces. Center's pretty good. Oh, wow, that's that's going to be hard to stop. That's That's not a good sign. Yeah, okay. So Pratham taking that one, filling out the middle squares. Um, Silva not really stopping it. So now we're going to have Silva and Pratham. Here we go. <clears throat> we got someone who might be Pratham in the audience. Not sure. We see the same sort of thing here. We have Pratham filling out middle pieces, um, blocking off places that yellow can move already I'm saying this is this is probably going to be Pratham's again unless something crazy happens yep it looks like Pratham is just forcing Silva into that fifth column and then that's it oh, we've got a connect six everybody look at this um that might be the first connect six even though that doesn't really matter it's always fun when that happens uh, that is probably the longest connect that I've ever had in the tournament. So congratulations to Pratham, the crowd favorite, for moving on 2-0 to the next round. I'm not going to record those. Ah, why not? I'll just move on. 2-0 uh, for Pratham. <laughs> they had three connect fours. One connect four here, one connect four here, and one connect four here, and a connect four here. So four connect fours in one move. I have never seen it. Never seen it. They're just they're just showing off at this point. All right. So, let's see how well they do. We've got uh Uvi and Nair in the next round. So, let's restart it. Uh Uvi and Nair. Here we go. We're going to get some bot that like spells its name when it wins. That's so good, right? Uh, 
I have no idea who's winning this one. Yellow's got a bit of an advantage in the middle, I think, here. Player two. Uh-oh. Okay. Nair sneaks out of nowhere and gets that one that I did not see. So now it's Nair on top and Uvi on the bottom. Here we go. Nair took the first round. So if yellow wins here, uh, that is it for, for the match. I tried to call the winner last time. I was dead wrong. So I'm not going to try that again. Yellow's got a triple going on. That's looking good for Nair. And they decided not to block it for some reason. Okay, so Nair is moving along. Congratulations to Nair. Wins that one pretty handily as well. 2-0 against Uvi. All right, next we've got George and Rich. Do we have George and Rich? Didn't they play last time? No, okay. So George against Rich. Here we go. George, I'm rooting for George just because we have a ferret named George. No favoritism. Here we go. So George in yellow, Rich in red. Oh, we have ferrets as well, not just cats. Oh, okay. Player one takes it. So George takes it over Rich in game one. Now we have Rich on top and George on bottom. I believe that's correct. Yes, it is. So congrats to George on the first win of the match. We've got, I think we've got um, Rich out there in the chat, probably sweating right now, hoping that George makes a little mistake here somewhere. Rich already got a triple set up. Oh, one of the bots sees the end of the game, apparently. Who is it? Player one wins. So George wins one and rich wins one trading wins so now we're gonna go okay where does george go one for top two for bottom george is gonna go on top george on top rich on bottom we bump it up and turn it on excuse me so george and rich playing the uh the tiebreaker here for who gets to move on to the next round of course, both won when they were yellow, so there's a little bit of an advantage there. But, you know, that's all you can do. We can't take all day with the tournament. We're already almost 45 minutes in. Oh, yellow setting up the Connect 6. Player 1 with the Connect 5. Congratulations to Player 1. George takes it and moves on 2-1 to the next round. So George, congratulations. Moving on to the next round on the bigger board tiebreaker. Here we go. Okay, next we have uh, one of our other buys, McDonald versus Hum. So we're going to get uh, Hum won the first game pretty easily i think there was a problem with their uh, opponent's bot so we'll get to see them in maybe their first full game here so we've got mcdonald playing against hum mcdonald tries to win right away gets blocked hum building this tower in the middle what a symmetric game this is this is amazing This is looking pretty even so far. Red has a possible win. Yellow has a possible win. And Hum walks right... Oh, no. McDonald walked right into it. So uh, Hum takes the first round. And now we'll flip them. Hum versus McDonald. Here we go. Oh, we've got some left column placers. We know how they usually do. Okay. Hum building in the middle now. Got a bit of a checkerboard situation going on. Nothing really connected yet. No threes yet. 
Uh oh. Yellow decided that I see. So yellow saw that it couldn't block here, so it didn't matter. So McDonald won. So we got one hum and one McDonald. This is interesting. One one very handily, it looked like in the first one and one in the second one. So here we go. We bump up the board. Uh, where is McDonald going to go? One for top, two for bottom, two on the bottom. So we've got McDonald on the bottom and hum on the top. And here we go. For the move on, McDonald, the buy who made it into the round of 16 without playing and hum who had to fight their way in. Lots of placement near the middle, probably good strategically. Red has a possible triple here, so watch out for that one. The game kind of moves pretty fast, though. Yellow has a possible triple, another triple blocked over here. Oh, this one was stopped prematurely. Like, a really good game. Both bots are playing well, I think. Um, yellow could win here. Red could win here. We got a triple over there stopped. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Something over here happening? Nope. Oh, yellow's got a double win. Red's got a double win. Yellow's got a double win. This is insane. This is really close. This is the closest game we've seen so far. Probably by a large margin. Is there even going to be a winner? I don't know. Oh no, yellow. Yellow looks like it. Okay, player one. Wow, that was and it's easily the closest game that we've had so far. That... That was crazy. Blocks all over the place. Congratulations to player one, Hum, for moving on 2-1 to one against McDonald. So Hum is going to move on to the top eight. Here we go. This takes a surprising amount of time to copy and paste. All right. Next we have Vidge and Maloney. Vidge looked really strong in the first round. So let's see if Vidge can take it over Maloney, who also looked pretty strong in the first round. So Vidge versus Maloney. Someone out there calling it for Vidge 2-0. I don't know. We will see. Here we go. Vidge is in yellow. Maloney is in red. We got red setting up a triple. Yellow has a triple set up already, and okay, so Vidge took that one. Congratulations to Vidge. Maloney fell on its sword there and just put it. Um, so Vidge was on top that time. Yep, okay, so now we have Maloney and Vidge. Here we go. So Vidge took the first one. Let's see if Maloney can, uh, can even it up in the second game. We've got more red in the middle. Red blocks that one off while also putting a threat over here. It can block this one now. Blocks this one. Looks like they're just cleaning up stuff up here. You got to place it there. Yellow, red. All right. So red one. Vidge takes it 2-0 again. Vidge looking really strong. And I can't see the last name, the, the other name, so it's not just Vidge, it's Vidge and someone else. I'll if if they end up doing super well, I'll announce that. They're just names are too too long to go into the um, into the challenge bracket. So here we go. Vidge makes it into the round of eight. Now we've got Kyog or Kof maybe and Stanley. So Kyo and Stanley. Kyo and Stanley. Here we go. Turn on autoplay. Kyo looking to go on, dominate the right hand side of the board. Stanley staying in the middle. Yo, coming back in this one, I think. This is a close one. But, 
Oh, wow. Kyo taking it. I didn't think the two moves over here to start were going to be able to take it. So now we're going to flip it. Uh, Stanley versus Kyo. So Kyo won the first one, is now in red, taking a different strategy of going more for the center. Red's got a triple set up already. Yellow had a had a thing set up there. Uh, it's going too fast for me to process. I'm not an expert. And player one taking it. So Kyo took the first one. Can someone... I think they did. Yes, because they were yellow. So now it's tied. All right. So it is tied. Player one has won both. Where does Kyo go? One for top, two for bottom. One. So Kyo goes on top. And Stanley on bottom. It is one to one. And I'm bumping up the board size for the tiebreaker. And here we go. Oh, lots of play over on the left, which is really interesting. Moving over to the right hand side now. Both have a few triples set up. Player two. So congratulations to Stanley for winning on the big board tiebreaker. So that was two to one um, for Stanley. Let me just double check that. Yes, it was. I, I, I remember that correctly. So Stanley wins to move on to the round of eight. Here we go. And for the last game of the round of 16, we have Kerala versus Griffiths. This should be another good one. Kerala versus Griffiths. Here we go. Griffiths taking the mid route like it did in the last round. Kerala trying to set up something here over on the left. That's going to be dangerous. Really interesting. Placing down the left-hand side. Player two. So Griffiths takes it with the win near the top. Now it's Griffiths versus Kerala. Griffiths is up one to nothing. Let's see if they can pull it out with the yellow pieces. Ooh, this is a good one. I can't even comment on this one. There's so much yellow. Oh, Griffiths might have it here. Yeah, okay. So Griffiths took that one two to nothing to move in. Um, Griffiths is looking very strong too. I think Griffiths and Vidge are both looking very strong. Here we go. Griffiths Mercer. And there we go. All right, so now we are playing to get into the semifinals. And so <clears throat> these games will be the same. So we have Thorn and Pratham moving up now. Each of these uh, players has now proven themselves. Here we go. One second each. Someone's calling it for Pratham 2-1. I don't know. We'll see. Yellow with the pieces in the middle. Red is taking both sides. Let's see how that works out. Player 2, Pratham, takes game 1. So now we'll have Pratham versus Thorn. Here we go. Flipped on the sides. If Pratham takes this one, they're moving on to the semifinals. Exciting. Might have our first semifinalist.
Look at this. Building the stacks in the middle. Nobody with the, any distinct advantage that I can see. I can't see... Th maybe Thorn can pull this one out with that triple. I don't know. Oh, red, yellow, red. Thorn wins. We've got... Wow, okay. So we've got one to one. So you know how this works. We've got uh, where's Thorn going to go? One for top, two for bottom. Two. So Thorn on bottom, Pratham on top, and we are going with a nine by... Let's do nine by eight this time. Because it's a deciding one. Let's do eight by eight. Ah, uh, no. Nine by eight. There we go. All right. So to decide who gets into the semifinals, here's the game. So we have uh, Pratham coming out with a quick, two quick sneaks, both stopped. Oh no! What are you doing? What did you do, Pratham? Pratham falls apart under pressure just when it counts the most. No idea what happened there, but Thorn takes it with the quick win here. Okay, so a little bit of an upset for the crowd who thought that Pratham was going to take that. Thorn moves on 2-1. to one. Congratulations to Thorn. Maybe the nerves just got to them. Anything can happen in the tournament. You never know. All right. Nair versus George. Nair versus George. Here we have Nair. Here we have George. And play. Nair versus George. George has been very strong. So has Nair. I think this is going to be a very close match. I would be very surprised if this is not one to one to start out. So some people out there may have hard coded some of their heuristics to be a specific size board and not really taken into account um, the fact that I could change the size of the board. Oh, we've got a winner. We've got Nair winning this one versus George. So now it's George versus Nair. George versus Nair. Let's see how this one goes. So Nair took the first one with yellow. We had some people maybe seeing their fate a little bit early, not taking the full second for some of those uh, for those moves in the last one. Oh, wow. We've got George already setting up this, like, double in the middle. Player one, George, what are you... What? Nair? Wow, okay. That is unexpected, but I'll take it, I guess. So we've got a 1-1, one -one, as I said, but a really strange 1-1. One -one. Now we're going to see where George starts. One for top, two for bottom. George is going to start on top. George versus Nair. Where's Nair? On the uh, nine by seven. Let's see how this goes. So this is another semifinal. Wow, we've got us starting off in completely opposite ends of the map. What is happening here? Players falling apart once they start to feel the pressure. I didn't think that was possible with robots. But apparently it is. Let's see who hard-coded their heuristic to work with um, other maps. We see this like even-numbered or odd-numbered column placement. This is really interesting. We've got a setup here for Nair. We've got two sets up for George. So whoever goes here, this is going to be the deciding piece, I think. This one right here in the dead middle. Whoever places it there is going to win. Is this... Player one. Okay, so George moves on. That was a really hard-fought battle. So George, two to one over Nair, moving on to their place in the semifinals. Congratulations to George. All right. Next, we've got Hum versus Vidge, two very strong players that we've seen so far. So let's get Hum versus Vidge, and we will go start that one. We've got some people thinking that Vidge is going to take it in the crowd. Uh, that has not happened traditionally. Whenever we have a crowd favorite, they have typically lost in the semifinals um, in past classes, but um, we'll see if that happens this time. Someone's claiming Vidge 2-1. to one. We will see. Vidge has a strong setup in the middle. 
with hum right above them in the middle. Wow, okay, this is coming down to it. Oh my god. Oh wow, okay. So Vidj showing off again with another Connect 5. So congratulations to Vidj for winning the first one. Now we will flip it. Vidj versus Hum. Vidj versus Hum. Turn on autoplay. So if Vidj wins it, they have secured their spot in the semifinals as well. Hum really loving this center column. Vidj tried for something quick and sneaky on the bottom, didn't get it. Vidj has this set up in the middle again. This is looking like it was almost the exact same thing as last time with Vidj on bottom, Hum on top. Oh, we've got so many triplets set up here. Who's going to eventually win? Looks like it's going to be Hum. Wow. So Hum takes this one. That was almost the exact opposite of the game from last time. So, was that Vidge's first loss? Was it? It was Vidge's first loss. So now we have, uh, where is Hum going to go? Uh, one for top, two for bottom. One, Hum is on top. Hum versus Vidge. So, we'll do a nine by seven. And good luck to both very, very strong bots. Who I think that either of these could have made it to the finals. They're looking very strong. Let's see who accounted for the bigger board, though. This is both of these bots, I think, first game on the big board of the competition. We've got Hum going left side, Vidge sort of following suit. Oh, man. All right. So now we're breaking our way to the middle. We've got, oh, we just had two close setups. Oh, look, what is, what is Red doing? Vidge, what are you doing? Stop showing off, Vidge. Stop flexing. You better take this win, Vidge. Ooh, okay. So Vidge <laughs> and Hum, obviously not tie-breaking. Their wins and losses based on number of moves, just trying to give us both heart attacks. So um, that is Vidge, two to one. So congratulations, Drew out there in the chat is predicting. I don't know, he's got some sort of, Six cents when it comes to um, connect four AIs, but uh, the Vegas odds were correct on that one. All right, for the last play in, we've got Stanley versus Griffiths. So, Stanley versus Griffiths, first game, Stanley uh, Griffiths. Here we go. First game of the last match to get into the semifinals. Oh wow, I don't I don't know. This looks pretty even. I don't see anyone really taking any chances. No one going for any daredevil plays. Stacking in the middle. Okay, Griffiths has got some nice stuff happening in the middle now. Um I don't see any possible wins here yet. I could be wrong. I have been in the past. Looks like we might have a draw coming. Oh wow. Wow, okay. So Griffiths just toying with their opponent, setting up the Connect 5 on the last move of the board. Last move of the board. So now Griffiths takes that one. So now it's Griffiths versus Stanley. Griffiths knew what it was doing the whole time. Both players work in the middle. Moving over to the left. See how that works out for them. Okay. We've got no real setup yet. This is such a strange match. These two heuristics working together to give us this ballet, this dance that lasts until the very last minute that we saw last time. Is it going to be the same thing? Are we going to see? No, we see Stanley. Um, and we got another troll in the chat that I need to ban. All right. So here we go. We've got one to one. Griffiths versus Stanley. Uh, where's Griffiths going to go? One for bottom, or one for top, two for bottom. Griffiths is going to be on the top. And Stanley on the bottom. And of course, we are going to make our board bigger and see who can deal with that. 
the best. So good luck to Griffiths and Stanley playing out on the big board, as is our usual tiebreaker. I don't see any particular advantages yet, but then again, I've been known to be blind in the past. The big board is always harder to look at. Um, we've got a, some doubling action going on over here. Ooh, this is, this is also going to be down to the wire, it looks like. I don't see any triples set up yet, but that could change at, an, at a moment's notice, as we've seen in the past. We've got a triple there, blocked. Triple there, blocked. Triple there. Oh my god, what's going to happen? That could have been a connect five. Is this going to be a draw for game three? No! On the very last play, my god, Griffiths. Why do you do this to us? Both wins coming on the very last move, which means Stanley was also playing very well. But congratulations to Griffiths. Mercer for winning that one two to one in the most dramatic of fashion. Holy crap. Um, I really thought that was going to be a draw. Mercer putting up the W in the chat. Is that the same Mercer? I don't know. It could be a coincidence. Okay. So now we are in the semifinals. We are going to have the semifinals playoff to see who goes in the finals. Then we will have the third place match. And then I will have the finals. So the very first one is Thorn versus George. Um, this is also going to be a best of three, but we are going to have two seconds to think in the semifinals. So Thorn on top, George on bottom. Thorn versus George. We are going to have two seconds to think because it's the semis and it's a little bit more important. So Thorn versus George. Let's see who does it. Mercer breaking hearts. Yep. Semi-finals going on the resume. It should. It's an honor. Here we have two seconds to think, so the bots are really taking their time. Someone is calling George versus Vidge in the finals. We shall see. Who is winning? I don't know. George has got a connect three. But Thorn has got a bunch of L's. Is that good? Is that bad? You'd think that the announcer would know something about the game, but they don't. So they just keep talking until something happens. Oh, we've got George doing its trademark, not taking the full amount of time. Maybe it sees a win, maybe it sees a loss. We don't know yet. Player two, congratulations to George for taking game one of the first semifinals match. So now we have George versus Thorn. George versus Thorn, and both players are going to have two seconds to think on this. So George taking the first one. Thorn, the underdog hero, but that was George who just won, not Thorn. So we'll see. The underdog, I guess they could come back, the reverse sweep, to, uh, to make it into the finals. How are they doing here? This looks very similar to the first match, just opposite colors. Players playing similar strategies, George versus Thorn. Two single player teams here, so well done to the, um, to the single student teams for making it this far in the competition. For those of you out there, how did you test your bots? Did you play against yourself? Did you play against other people in the class? Oh, we've got... Player one. So that's George. So congratulations to George for taking the first semifinal match two to nothing against Thorn. So they are moving on to the finals. So here we go. And that is the finals. George is the first. But before I do that, I'm going to say that there is going to be a third place game um, in here. So this is going to be uh, for third and this is the third place game. All right, so we've got, where do I put these now? So George, 
goes to the finals. And Thorn goes to the third place match. Perfect. Now we've got the second semifinals uh, game, uh, uh, Vidge versus Griffiths. So they will also play with two seconds. So Vidge versus Griffiths, two seconds each. Here we go. Neither of these have played with two seconds yet. Hopefully they did some testing on two seconds. Pretty standard opening so far. Both players placing in the middle. Griffiths not letting that early stack by Vidge intimidate them. This is, uh, this is, I don't know, it's pretty intense. I'm, I'm, I have no words. Oh, Vidge looking strong. That is a classic Vidge move. Oh, Vidge blocking his own double. Yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow. I think Vidge has this. I think the last move by yellow will be down here. If they fill out the whole board. Yep, looks like Vidge. Oh, no, never mind. I thought that Griffiths was going to take it, but Vidge took it with the diagonal move. Congratulations to Vidge. Griffiths Mercer getting the sneak attack over here. All right, so now we go Griffiths versus Vidge with two seconds each. Vidge up one to nothing. Wow, Vidge with that sneak attack. Crazy. Shows you how bad I am at the game. Yeah, I did too. I thought it was a definite win for player two, but then Vidge just came out of nowhere with that um, planned all along, right? So now we got Griffiths in yellow, Vidge in red. Playing the standard size board. Do we have any sneak attacks coming here? Doesn't look like it so far. Nope. Nothing over here can win. This is blocked. Doesn't look like we have any possible wins. Is this going to be a draw? Or am I just bad at the game? I'm probably bad. Yellow, red, yellow, red. Ah, looks like a draw. So neither player obviously um, stopping the game short. So we got Vidge is up one with one draw. So now where does Vidge start? Um, one for top, two for bottom. That is not one of the two things I said. One for top, two for bottom. Two for bottom. Vidge is going to start bottom. Griffiths is going to start top. That is Griffiths, right? Griffiths versus Vidge. Um, We're going to at two seconds on the big board, so the longest game we've played so far, probably, and this is going to determine our second finalist. Unless it's a win by Griffiths, because then it'll be one win and a draw each. So Griffiths has to win this one in order to force a game four in the semis. I like this sort of two pillars action going on in the, in the middle. It's always nice when the board is aesthetically pleasing. This one's going to take a little bit longer. Okay, we've got our first, second triple link of the game. Oh, that came out of nowhere. Okay, so Vidge takes it, um, 201. So congratulations to Vidge. 
two, oh, one. Um, so we had one draw there. So Vidge is going on to the finals. As several people predicted. And Griffiths is going to play for third place. So the third place match is going to uh, happen first, and it'll have the same um, format as the uh, the semifinals. So let's go. We're going to have Thorn versus Griffiths Mercer. So Thorn versus Griffiths Mercer. Two seconds each. Let's go. I'll be back in one second while this plays. We've got some fans here. Not sure who, uh, who he's cheering for. He actually likes watching the the pieces on the board. That's pretty cute. But I'm gonna I, he was asleep, so I'm gonna I'm gonna lay him back down now. We got a winner! Congratulations to Thorn for winning game one. Now we're gonna do Griffiths versus Thorn. Griffiths versus Thorn. Two seconds each. Here we go. Thorn took the first one. Let's see if they can take the second one to finish up third place and clinch that spot. Lots of play in the middle. Yellow starts moving on the right. So remember that Griffiths has to has to win this one. So if yellow doesn't win, we've got our third place champion. Sorry, I guess if Thorn wins, they're a third place champ. Th third place champion. Third place. <laughs> they're the champion of getting third place. This one's looking like there may be a draw. I don't see any winnable things up here. Unless... Nope. Nope. I think it's a draw. I think we've got ourselves a draw. We've got ourselves a game three. So we got Thorn with one win. And a draw. Okay. So you know what happens. Griffiths is going to go on top or bottom, one or two. Griffiths is on bottom. Griffiths is on bottom. Thorn is on top. We bump up the board size. And let's let them play. So Thorn is up one game uh, to one draw in this. Oh, I've got them playing at one second. That's fine. That's just how it's going to happen now. Um, instead of two seconds. It's the bigger board. Doesn't matter that it's one second, really. The bigger board is uh, is a lot longer game, so it's kind of nice that it's the one second, actually. Thorn in yellow, looking for the win to take it. Also, if it's a draw, he's going to take it. Sorry, they're going to take it. Oh. Oh. Player one. So Thorn, two wins to one draw. So congratulations on Thorn for getting 2-0-1. So Thorn gets third place. Congratulations. And now we are in the finals of George versus Vidge. It is going to be a best of five. Our first two games are going to be on the normal map. Our second two games are going to be on the big map. And then... If we have a fifth game, it's going to be on an even bigger map. So here we go. Who is first to be on top? That is George versus Vidge. All right. And so actually, let's randomize it. 
um, because I don't want to let like the, the previous bracket. So we're going to randomize who's on top or bottom to start here. So let's go back. So where does George start? One for top, two for bottom. On bottom. So George is going to start on bottom. And Vig is going to start on top. And we're going to have two seconds on the normal board to start out this game of the finals. All right. Good luck to Vig. Good luck to George. Um, we'll see both really strong players. A bunch of people think... Uh, so... Vig and Rag, it is a two-player team versus a single-player team in George. So let's see who wins. Looking pretty close so far. Both teams, we are expecting a draw here maybe. Um, at least one draw in five games because both teams have, have been playing so strongly so far. Oh, George is doing its skippy thing. Player two. Player two pulls out a win against the crowd favorite. So now George is on top and Vidge is on bottom. George is on top. Vidge is on bottom. Two to two. And we are going to come back here. And we've got one game. For George so far, so I'm going to mark that down just so I remember. And now George versus Vig with George on top and Vig on bottom. Let's see who wins. George has a really strong late game. Like as soon as it gets toward the late game, there's no stopping George, apparently. Both players playing really strongly on the standard board. George in yellow looks to have a little bit of a setup in the middle. Vidge is holding their own though. Whew, this is close. This is close. Where's George going to go? Okay, Vidge has got to go up there. Conspiracy theory is that George is my ferret, who's an amazing developer. I wish I had a developer ferret. Uh, red, yellow, red. Yellow. Is this going to be a draw? Is this going to be a draw? It looks like it may be a draw. The game is a draw. All right. So we've got one win and one draw. One win for George, one draw. And now we are going on to the big board. So because it's the big board... Um, ah, screw it. It's the finals. We're going to see where does George go? One for top, two for bottom. 91. Uh, one for top, two for bottom. One, George is on top. Vidge is on bottom. We're going to go nine by seven. And we're going to give them two seconds each. So this is going to be a bit of a longer game, but it's the finals, so we can let them battle it out. Here we go. George making a... What are they doing on the right-hand side? Interesting, interesting. I have no idea what this strategy is. No, None of them have played like this before. Interesting. Maybe the heuristic. Uh, just calculating some different stuff for these larger boards. Lots of play on the right-hand side. People seem to be allergic of, to this left-hand side. Play on the board. Super interesting so far. Super interesting so far. Okay. Now they're playing in the middle. George is making a stack in the middle. Vidge says no way. Vidge has a setup right here. So if Vidge... Oh, Vidge can't win this way because he would have to be placed here and then they would win. Ooh, it's looking like George has a little bit of an advantage here, I think. Yeah, I think... Uh, oh, George might take this second game. Unless Vidge can pull this out somehow. 
George has got two lines already blocked. Just the, the opportunities for Vidge are not looking great. I think George is already smelling blood. There we go. Wow. So George with the second win. Wow. Here we go. George with win. So a two to one or two wins, one draw. So we still need one more win. So now we're going to have Vidge versus George. Vidge on top. George on the bottom. Um, two seconds each on the big board. Here we go. So if George wins this one, they are the 2022 Fall Connect Four champions. So good luck to both players. And since it's best of five and there's a draw, um, Vidge has to win this one to stop George. If there's a second draw, then Vidge can no longer win. So, so Vidge has to win this in order to force a game five. Vidge in yellow, George in red. George not falling for that one up on top. Whew. This is intense. Always intense games in the finals. Both bots have proven themselves to be very capable. I have no idea who's going to win this game. We've got no diagonal wins set up over here. If this is a draw, it will be George who takes the finals. Oh, wow. Look at block, 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 block all the way up. Red. Yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow. Oh, Vidge might take this. Vidge might take it. Vidge takes it, forces a game five, which may mean a game six. All right. So we've got two wins for George, one win for Vidge, and a draw. Meaning, <laughs> crazily, that now if Vidge wins the next one, it's a draw and then there will be one final, final game for the last. Okay, so Vidge, uh, Vidge is going to be one for top, two for bottom. One, so Vidge is going on top. Crazy, crazy game so far, George. Um, now we're going to give them, let's, I'm going to make a bigger board. So it's going to be one second, okay? Because it's going to be a bigger board. We're going to go with 10 and 8. An even size for both. The width and the height. One second each. If Vidge wins, we go to a game six. Deciding game for everything. Otherwise, it's George. Good luck to both players. One second moves. It's going to be a quick one. Don't blink. It'll be over. Vidge versus George. If this all comes down to a deciding sixth game, this is going to be insane. We have never had a uh, 10 versus 8 or 10 by 8 board before. This is crazy big. We've got yellow. We've got Vidge getting a triple on the right hand side set up. What's happening? I don't even know what's happening. George is doing some shenanigans over there. He's got one of them blocked. Blocks another possible win. Ooh, Vidge has got a diagonal here. Oh, blocked by George. Oh, Jesus. Another one blocked. All these wins. The AIs are not having any of it. Who is going to take this down? I have no idea. Player two, George. George takes it. Congratulations to George. Someone says, this is my first exposure to esports. This is an esport. And George, congratulations for taking game number three. And so that was three. Uh, three, one, one for George. I will just write that up there. And now, uh, if you excuse me for one second, I have to put this because I forgot to do this part. 
but we are going to um, we are going to have a little ceremony here. Um, okay, that's good enough. I can steal this. This is going to be pretty scuffed, but it's okay. Um, there we go. All right, so now we're back. Uh, GG, congratulations to George. So we come here. Uh, we've got in third place, we have Thorn. Congratulations to Thorn. I can't grab their thing, so I'll just make it a little bigger. Third place, we have Thorn. Congratulations. In second place, we have um, Vig and Rag. Sorry for Rag's name being cut off, but that's all you can do. Vig Rag in second. And we have in first place, congratulations um, to George for winning the class competition. So that was awesome. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Um, I, I wish I had more. Maybe I could make assignment five, something like that next year, but uh, I always have a lot of fun with the Connect Four competition. I hope you had fun too. And um, enjoy your weekend and Remembrance Day holiday. Thank you all for tuning in. I will post this on uh, D2L and on the Discord for everyone to see. All right. I am going to go get dinner. Thanks again. Uh, see you in the next lecture next week.